Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. So remember two days ago I reviewed a blaster called the Rival Apollo, and I critiqued a lot of things about that. Well, it just so happens that Nerf released a version of the Apollo that fixed every single problem the original Apollo had. Don't believe me? Well, let's review the Helios and take a look for ourselves. <laughs> Just a quick note though, there is background noise coming from over there. We have a portable air conditioner because our air conditioning is broken and it's basically blowing all the time. There's nothing I can really do about it. But with that said, we just gotta get started with this blaster, starting with the design. Oh man, it really improves on the Apollo's design by giving it a lot of extra detail, like an actual cheek rest and an actual stock! On top of that, the more basic kind of minimalized design works with the Phantom Core subseries a lot better because the whole point is that the blaster is kind of a neutral blaster that you would make your own team, and I think that it works very well for this blaster. The black and white textures look really cool. They added a lot more extra details, like they also added a foregrip right here, which I think the Apollo desperately needed, and a lot of little lines on here that makes it look very futuristic and very industrial. Also, the muzzle end looks really cool. That's just a subjective take, but I think the front of this blaster looks way more interesting than the Apollo's. Now let's go to the Ergo. So remember how I said the Apollo's grip was way too big? This one is just about the same size, but it is so much better in every way. First of all, it actually is designed like a grip and not as much just like a cylinder with grip elements on it. It feels comfortable to hold on to and it feels like you would use it on something like a really, really big blaster. And yet it's being used on this sort of compact SMG P90 style blaster, which fits very well. It is a very comfortable grip and I prefer it over the Apollo's grip any day of the week. As for the stock, yeah, they finally put a stock on it and it's comfortable. It's a little bit short, but honestly, it's a pretty good size for this blaster. The foregrip that they put right here is a little bit too square for my taste, but it's better than what there was before, which was nothing. There really wasn't a foregrip on the Apollo and it was pretty uncomfortable if you tried to use it as a foregrip because you'd have to put your thumb through the trigger guard and it was just really cramping. This priming handle, we gotta talk about the priming handle. So this blaster stayed true to the Apollo's bolt action design, but instead they put the bolt on the side, and you can actually switch the bolt from one side to another very easily. When it puts it in, it doesn't wanna come out. I know there's somebody out there who wants to know how to change it, let me show you. You see that little black line right there? You pull it down, it releases the grip on the, on the priming handle. It's pretty simple. This is nice, it's smooth and rounded, and the prime, Oh! Oh! Yeah! This is what you call a priming handle. This is awesome. I love this. Whether it's on the right side or the left side, if it's on the side like this, I love doing this. That's fun. If it's on the, the other side, this is easy. It is so much more pleasant to prime this than the Apollo. It literally fixes all of the critiques I had with the priming handle by making it a cool looking bolt action, a comfortable bolt action, a smooth bolt action, and they even give you a spring return. It is just better in every way. They also took advantage of the fact that the bolt wasn't on top and gave you a much bigger tactical rail, which you can use to attach magazines or even a red dot to it. I really wish there were more rival attachments. I think the rival attachments are very cool. But with that being said, let's get onto the functionality. How does this nugget work? I mean, it's virtually identical to the Apollo. You take a magazine, shove it in the grip. It's a little bit easier to put the magazine in this grip because it's got sort of an angled magwell, which works pretty well. You prime it and then you can single shot. It doesn't have slam fire just like the Apollo did, but with a bolt action, you don't really want slam fire, especially because if you try and shoulder it and use the bolt, it goes right up close to your face and it's actually pretty uncomfortable. I prefer priming the blaster by tilting it sideways and then grabbing the bolt handle from the top, very similarly to the Apollo, but I just prefer this blaster over the Apollo because it's so much smoother and more comfortable on your hand, and it's just such a nice prime. Oh, I love the prime on this blaster. It is buttery smooth, and it improves on the prime of the Apollo in every single way. To take the mag out, same thing, mag release right here at the bottom of the grip, except it's a little bit more filled than the Apollo's, so it's a little bit easier to pull. They genuinely improved everything. Now let's get on to the firing demo. Oh my gosh, go in. There we go. Da, 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 da. 
I think it's pretty safe to say that Nerf made some improvements here. This blaster is one of my favorite rival blasters ever made, and I've only had it for like a week. I tested it, I can't stop playing with it. It is so much fun, it is so much better than the Apollo. There is only one thing, one single thing about this blaster that is slightly worse than the Apollo's, and even then, I'm pretty sure that just comes down to the fact that I found this at the thrift store, and it wasn't in the best condition. The trigger is a little bit stickier. That's it. Everything else about this is a drastic improvement over the original blaster that it's based off of, and I love it so much. If you have a if you have a choice between the Helios and the Apollo, go with this one every time. You will be so much happier, like so much happier. So much. I love this Prime. I love the grip. I love the the design. It's just so cool. It literally is what the Apollo should have been at the start, and they brought it for us in the Phantom Core series, so you only have to get one. You don't have to get two. It's just, oh, it's so great. If you want to buy one of these, I'll link it in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.